Hello everyone, this is Dr. Christian Buckingham. I am a physical oceanographer living and working in France. Um, I go out to sea sometimes. I do a little bit of theory, a little bit of modeling as well. Um, I, uh, I'm missing uh, being with you this year. I'm sorry I can't be there. As you can see, I'm in, in confinement uh, in here in France in my house. And, uh, but to put myself in the mood, I put, I put on this traditional garb. Uh, I'm excited about this week and look forward to working with you. I wanted to take a second to tell you about my research, uh, what it is I do for a living and how I do that. Um, and then in briefly introduce the, the project we'll be doing this week. So I hope you can join me for that. Uh, it'll be uh, a pretty fun project on satellite remote sensing in the Gulf of Guinea. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you. So the question becomes, what is it that I do? Or what is my research about? As mentioned, I'm a physical oceanographer here in France. I also have a dual affiliation with the British Antarctic Survey in Cambridge, UK. I examine small-scale phenomena that have climate-scale impacts or large-scale impacts. I primarily use observations, for example, from moorings, satellites, and ships. And then I test theories about ocean circulation with these observations. How do we make these observations? Well, on the left, I'm illustrating measurements of the upper ocean, and we can make observations using moorings, satellites, and ships. Um, on the right, satellites can't penetrate the ocean surface, so we have to rely primarily upon ships and mooring-based measurements to examine the deep ocean. So the deep ocean is quite a challenge to measure. So just a little bit of theory about uh, what it is I do, I'll try to keep this brief. So there's, there's a quantity in the ocean called the Ertel potential vorticity. I'm not gonna go into detail about what it is, but it's basically the product of rotation and stratification. In the ocean, this is typically conserved away from boundaries. And by boundaries, I mean coasts and the deep sea where the bottom topography interacts with the flow, as well as the upper ocean where winds and uh, heat, heat exchanges can occur. So this can remove or inject potential vorticity. In the northern hemisphere, potential vorticity is typically positive, and in the southern hemisphere, it's typically negative. When this quantity, Q, or potential vorticity, reverses sign, instabilities can occur, and that results in potential mixing of density. So here are some examples of that in the upper ocean on the left and on the deep ocean on the right. In the upper ocean, you can imagine a case where you have um, large-scale eddies mixing or stirring the ocean, wall, ocean surface. And that gives rise to fronts, which is shown in yellow, the beige color. And imagine, for example, you had winds blowing along the front in the direction of the flow. That can cause a transport of dense water from the right to the left of the page. That itself is unstable, and it can give rise to turbulence within the front. So this is important because it could change uh, heat exchange and gas exchange, and therefore change ocean circulation and climate. On the right, we can have a similar phenomenon due to deep sea currents flowing along topography. This also has implications for ocean circulation. Finally, I thought that it might be fun to show you some pictures of what it's like to be at sea. These are some observations of sensors and people using the sensors on ships um, down near Antarctica. So this, for example, is a mooring deployment. Uh, in the bottom right-hand corner, you can see a, a right, southern right whale that appeared, and then more caref more closely here. Um, they're pretty curious creatures, and they're, they're not harmful at all, but they're interested in what we're doing with the moorings. And then last of all, I thought I would present a movie that one of the scientists uh, kind of put together, stitched together, basically shows what it's like to be out at sea in a storm, in a heavy winds in the Southern Ocean. So this stopped our work for a bit, and we, uh, we hunkered down and, and waited for the storm to pass. So that all said, what are we going to do this week? Uh, this is exactly what we're going to do. So the, this project is on remote sensing in the Gulf of Guinea using sea, first, sea surface salinity. It's a project together with Ebenezer. 
Dr. Ebenezer, and we'll be examining satellite measurements over the Gulf of Guinea. That's the panel on the left, um, and together with Python 3 and Jupyter Notebooks, which is the panel on the right. If you have any questions during the week, you can feel free to write either of us, uh, and we'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Thanks, and uh, that's it. So thanks, and uh, look forward to working with you this week. Cheers.